Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com. As you can see up here, I create WordPress blogs and websites. I also have a WordPress blog called Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team where I have over 90 WordPress videos and thesis tutorials. So I would suggest that you sign up, put your name and best email address in there so you will receive all my video tutorials directly into your email inbox as soon as I create them. Okay, in today's video tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to add well, let's just click here. We're going to add the Google Analytics for WordPress. That is the name of this plugin, WordPress plugin. We're going to add it to this WordPress demonstration site. In a previous video tutorial, I showed you how to create your Google Analytics account, and that is right here. Um, it's called Jupiter Jim's Google Demo Site. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and activate the Google Analytics for WordPress plugin by Yoast. Okay, so it's very easy um, to find the video on how to create the Google Analytics account. Just go to my blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team, and just do a little search up here and uh, on Google Analytics and that will show up. Okay, so here's the demo site. I'm clicking here in this tab. This is the dashboard of the demo site. And so I'm just gonna add a plugin. So you go to dashboard, plugins, add new. Um, I'm already here, so we're just gonna click add new. We're gonna go to Google for Word press just type that in and let's see what pops up we're looking for the one by Yoast of course and there it is it says Yoast Devok that's how you pronounce it his first name is pronounced Yoast and that's why the website is Yoast just like toast y o a s t dot com okay so this lets us know we've got the right plugin. Let me just click in on the details. I always like to look at the details of all the plugins that I installed. Um, okay, it was updated 71 days ago. You've got to have at least 3.3. It's compatible up to 3.5.1, which is the version of WordPress that we're using. It's been downloaded millions of times. It's got a rating of four out of five stars, and that's based on over 1,223 people using it. So those are great ratings. Um, I'm just going to click install now. Okay, and now I'm going to activate the plugin. You can, this popped up, Google Analytics, you can allow tracking or not. I'm just going to click no today. You just make your own decision on that one. Um, Google Analytics for WordPress, it is installed, um, it is activated. Let's click on Settings. And we need to click here to authenticate before we do anything. Um, you can also see up here it says that Google Analytics is not active. You must select which analytics profile to track before it works. Okay, I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to grant access. This is the, if you remember from the last video tutorial, that is the Gmail account I used for the Google Analytics account. So let's just grant access here. Okay, and apparently everything was great. If I wanted to, well, still spinning around, I'm not going to allow tracking. It says that it's not active here. One thing I can do perhaps is I can try to re-authenticate or I can manually enter the UA code. So let's do that. Go to Google Analytics. And there's the UA code for this website. OK. There's the, the URL right there. So we know we got the right website. You can also under accounts and you can click down there but I know this is the right UA code so I'm gonna press control C to copy command C if you're on a Mac go back in here 
control V, like Victor, control Victor to paste or command Victor if you're using a Mac. And we're going to update Google Analytics settings right here. And as you can see, looks like everything's working like a charm. Now, let's go back here to go to Yoast. It's at Yoast.com. Okay. Google Analytics for WordPress. If you go to this site, there's a nice little video here that shows you how to configure that plugin. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on that right now. I just wanted to show you how to authenticate it. And basically, that is it. You will now be able to go back to Google Analytics right here, and you can log in anytime. So let's just sign out. And what you would do is... Okay, it usually takes about 24 hours before it shows the statistics for visitors to your site. This is a demo site, a demonstration site, so no one's really going to show up. Let's just type in analytics. And I'm just showing you how to log back into your account. You're going to sign in. You're going to type in your name. Use that super duper secret password to log back in to your Google Analytics account. Um, you're going to go all accounts up here. You're going to click here, uh, click there. That's the tracking code we used. And this will give you, this is where the number of visitors and all that is going to show up. And that's all you need to do to track the number of visitors to your site. And that's all it takes to use the Google Analytics for WordPress by Yoast WordPress plugin. If you liked it, please click like, leave a comment, share with friends, family, and loved ones. Take care and have a great day.